My wife didn't believe in God either. And it was unfortunate because, at least for me, there's so much evidence to the contrary. And I tried to convince her, but she didn't want to hear it. I think she was afraid, just like you, that maybe she was right. The life flashed before our eyes. There's nothing to hold on to, believe in, hope for. I tried to tell her, I said, you're missing it. We can only hope. And I, for one, believe if I believe in anything, better to have some hope than no hope at all. Without hope, we aren't alive. That's what I tried to tell her during all those lunches and dinners. But no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't convince her that what she was looking for wasn't that hard to find. I could make her happier than she could ever imagine. And then, then I caught a break. I somehow neglected to mention in the two years I pursued her that I had this place out in the country. Now, she said she loved the country, so I said, let's go away for a weekend. The only thing I ask of you is you let me paint you. I have this cottage with this window with this garden out back and in the late morning the sun it comes streaming in at this angle and just... And she said yes. She agreed. Sunday morning, the sun came out. Spring in all its glory. I could mix the paint fast enough. I got my easel, I took the old wooden chair, put it in the window, brought her in, sat her down in the sun, hit her. Just like I told her. I got my brush, picked up my palette, took a deep breath. <laughs> And just as I was about to tell her what I wanted her to do, she turned to me and said, I love you. That's when I knew there was a God. <laughs>